just to add to my busy schedule. My aura ring arrived and the matcha stall wasn't there. Even if I have to fly to Japan. It migrated a little bit, but that's not... Like I started the process of my new project. How cute are they? Even just like this much. And I almost had to pull over. That's how dangerous it was. So we got my um, blood test results back. It was $900. This is so exciting. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Voice sounded a bit croaky there because I haven't spoken yet, but good morning. Happy Monday. I'm just about to go for a walk actually with Riley. Um, and I'm just waiting for her to message me saying that she's left. I don't know what to do with my hair. I never know because when I wash it, I don't want to like put it up straight away. And then I also don't want to wear my hair out going for a walk. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll just like put it up and not have it so tight so it doesn't like kink my hair. I need one of those, um, I swear I had one of those like anti kink hair ties. I don't do. I'm so tired this morning. I'm actually considering having some pre workout, like not even kidding. So tired. Um, but yeah. That's on the agenda this morning. And then I'm in the warehouse again by myself, but it's the last day that I'll be by myself because Charlie gets back from her holiday this week. So I'm very excited about that. Almost forgot my SPF. This is just the ultraviolet one. I love this sunscreen for my face as well. But this is your reminder to wear sunscreen on your hot girl walks. Decided to make my greens instead of a pre-workout. I'm still so obsessed with this flavor. Like I'm low key almost out. <laughs> Peter's been having it as well, but yum. Okay, hello. I'm back from my walk. I went and had a shower. Now, I am not far from the warehouse, actually. I always see this sign outside advertising the Mio Wrap, like a pickup spot. And if you don't know what a Mio Wrap is, it's what we get from the markets. It's those buckwheat wraps that, sorry, there's like fluff on my lens. Buckwheat wraps, you can get so many different like fillings. Um, I normally just get the bacon and egg one. I also do like the I think it's called the Genova one. Riley gets that one um, with pesto and like mozzarella and tomato. Is that the one? Anyway, and I always see this sign. I'm like, I wonder if that's them just selling the buckwheat wraps. Like, I don't know, like in a pack of five or something. Or like, do they actually have a kitchen somewhere here where people actually order online and pick it up? And then I went onto their Instagram. Like, this is a little sign like on the road, it's just off Burley Connection Road. And I was like, I'm gonna go onto their Instagram. It said that's how to order. Um, and I ordered for pickup curbside, like they literally gonna come out on the curb, which is where I am, and deliver it to me in, well, eight minutes. Cause the earliest they could do was 9.40, but I'm early. But yeah, what the hell? I just, this whole time I thought, Riley's like, nah, I'm pretty sure it means like, they are making them and you can like pick them up as is and i've seen this sign for like months now and i haven't like done anything about it and i freaking love them we go i try to go there every sunday and get one so i'm excited it definitely is giving healthy um so yeah i don't know what i, I don't even know how to explain it it's like a crunchy it's pretty much tasteless i guess like the buckwheat wrap like it's tasteless but then the fillings are so good it's just like a green salad jap mayo like kewpie mayo um a fried egg bacon and i think that's it like salt and pepper and stuff like that but yeah i'm so excited so i'll show you guys when it comes thank you hi thank you so much thank you bye Okay, this is her. 
It's just, yeah, salad, egg, bacon, tomato, coleslaw vibes, and then Jack Mayo. It is so good. Guys, seriously. I forgot my tripod in the car. But here's an up close. I'll eat. This is my packing orders outfit. Wearing my merch. I love this top. I should have got more. I should have got the black one. It's printed off a couple orders. I've also prepped some mugs, which we have now sold out of. But I did order more. So if you did miss out on the mugs, they will be a restock in like six weeks. Hopefully sooner. I'll keep you updated. But yeah, if you miss out on a mug and you want one, roughly six weeks. But yeah, I'm going to go and start on these orders. Mum's going to come in and help me seal the boxes because that saves so much time. I'll just like pick and pack the jewellery and then set them aside for her and then she can wrap them all up. But yeah, that's what I'm doing this morning. Pretty much, or actually no, probably most of the day. Because it takes a while. It's very time consuming, but yeah. She's been busy today. Mum just left. It is currently 4.30. Anyway, I am just dropping off like the orders after 12 o'clock today because our postie comes at 12 usually and there was heaps more. So decided to smash them out. I've got them all in the back seat and the boot of my car. Although we ran out of satchels, so I've had to put them in boxes. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now and then head home, eat something because I haven't had lunch. And then I'm gonna go to mum's and head to the hospital. Hey, you're in my fridge, bit rogue, but I'm just about to choose, why is it doing that? I'm gonna rest you on something. The fridge lighting is slaying, <laughs> low key. Yeah, I'm gonna have like a early dinner, late lunch. I'm still getting my chef good meals. I'm just not over them. I don't know. I just really like them. What do I feel like? Mm, I could do this actually. Lemon and herb chicken. Or do I feel like pasta? Mm, don't really feel like that. Let's do crusted salmon. Mm, I'm scared. What's underneath there? Lasagna and butter chicken. Maybe I'm doing the ravioli. This is really good. I also really love this other chicken. Okay, I'm gonna heat this up. I don't even know why I filmed this. Someone scared me to stop heating up my pre-made meals in like the plastic. So basically ever since that comment, I have been transferring it into a bowl and then putting it in the microwave. Even though I think these are like safe, you guys scared me. I would prefer to eat it out of a bowl anyways. I mean, it's more dishes. I get that, but I don't know, I feel like it tastes better in like a bowl. Or I'm just insane, okay. I like to add extra parmesan cheese. 
And that is my lunch slash dinner. And I'll probably eat something later when I get back from the hospital. So good. It hits the spot and it's like tasty as well. And like a decent portion. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat this. everyone I actually woke up at 6 30 this morning I had intentions of going to a hustle class but it was just pouring down with rain one I don't like driving in the rain I drove back really late last night from mum's um and I almost had to pull over that's how dangerous it was so yeah I decided against it although I did go for a walk this morning um, on the treadmill and yeah just got ready made my matcha as you saw I did some work this morning from home I haven't actually eaten breakfast I haven't really been waking up hungry I think it's because I eat so late like last night I ate at like nine o'clock almost nine thirty. um so yeah I think it's because I'm eating late and then I wake up early and I'm just I'm not hungry so yeah I haven't well, I've been unintentionally, I guess, fasting. Well, not really. If I ate so late, I don't know. Anyway, there's people coming from every single angle in this car park. I am going to go buy some fresh bread. I'm going to have burgers tonight. So I'm going to buy some fresh buns. I'm going to buy a fresh Turkish roll and have a sandwich. Um, I'm heading to the warehouse. I just went to the post office and picked up some returns. Um... And yeah, that's what I'm doing today, pretty much. I wish I liked the Chamberlain matcha. Like this one's actually okay, like the plain one. The vanilla one, the chocolate one is so gross. So gross. I have to like literally put half a body jar of honey in it to make it like drinkable. But yeah, I need to find another brand of um, matcha. Although the one from the markets is good. The one I get from Hoda Markets. The JS Health one has been discontinued, which is annoying. But yeah, I do get my matcha from the markets as well. Hoda Markets. So, okay, I'm going to go to Coles and get my ingredients. I forgot what I was about to say just then. Okay, I'm back from the shops. Where can I put you? Maybe I need to take you off this trip for a second. Got my Turkish bread. I also got some bread for some burgers tonight. Also, don't mind the mess in the background. Okay. I bought some pesto. This is just like a dip, the Red Rock Deli one. I really like it. I have tried like a, like a, I don't know, like a jar of pesto from like the health food shop, but there's something about it that I don't like. Maybe it's like too strong. Kupi mayo. I'll on it as well, maybe on the other side. May as well just leave this one in the work fridge because I'll probably be having sandwiches every day this week. Got my when does this actually expire? Because that does not smell right. I'm not risking it. I bought another one anyways. <laughs> Yeah, it should like that. No, it smells off. Okay. Bought some more tomato. Alright. Got my ham. It's kind of slimy, but oh well. I'm just gonna use the rest of it. I just smelt this new mozzarella. That other one was definitely off. Thank God I ended up buying this one. I wasn't going to. 
but thank god okay putting mozzarella on there's this new like panini bar i think in um palm beach i really want to try actually i might go this weekend if they're open there's my sad little sandwich still hips <sighs> Good morning, everyone. It's been a few days. Don't know if you'd be able to tell, but um, yeah. I feel like I'm out of tears at this stage. Like, I just, I've run out. Like, my body has just run out of tears. I had to wear makeup today. I wasn't going to. Um, I don't know why I had the urge to mermaid wand my hair, but I let it air dry because I couldn't be bothered um, blow drying it yesterday so I just put the wave one through it and I needed to put makeup on because I don't think I've woken up looking worse to be honest my face is all puffy and blotchy so I put some makeup on um, yeah my did a past three days ago now at least he is resting peacefully that's all I can say because those last few days that I saw him like broke my heart he was obviously you know when someone's body's shutting down and um, you're trying your absolute best to keep them comfortable but you still want to talk to them you know like those last few days you can just tell he was in pain even though he was on painkillers but you know when your body starts shutting down so do your muscles he was unable to swallow he was getting agitated um because the only thing that he could swallow was thickened water and he didn't like that and he was getting frustrated and it just wasn't nice to see so yeah the last couple days he was like heavily sedated and he passed peacefully with Barker next to him so me thinking all my tears are gone yeah. I've come back um so yeah um yeah these next couple of days like leading up to the funeral I'll probably just be with my family, with my Barker, making sure she's not alone and, you know, we'll be with family, as you probably already know. I'm putting my glasses on because people, <laughs> if they want, can see my car because I'm like parked quite publicly right now. I'm not sure if this vlog will be up on Monday or not, um, depends if I like you know have the time to edit it or whatever so I'm not going to put any pressure on myself and I'm sure you guys understand all of your messages have been so beautiful like I've been reading them all um yeah it's just I've never like experienced this before like I've never lost someone close to me so it's all new I don't even think I've got tissues oh I've got tissues thank god um, I am just about to go into the warehouse. I haven't seen the girl. I haven't seen Charlie since she got back. I was planning on going in yesterday to see her, but um, I didn't end up because, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, just parked like at my apartment because I forgot my water bottle. I just went to the post office and then I just asked Peter if he could run it down for me because leaving the house without your water bottle is illegal. <laughs> I feel so lost without it. Um, so yeah, gotta to go to the warehouse, say hey to the girls, um, and then yeah, I'll probably head to my Barker's house straight after. Here he is. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. I just got back from Matcha Therapy. Actually, it's like my new obsession. I've been there pretty much every day for like four days. Um, they do this like strawberry matcha and it's so good. I'm like obsessed with strawberry matcha now. Um, so yeah, I went to Pilates this morning with Riley. I'm trying to like 
stay into routine and like keep myself busy and I'm home, I'm gonna get ready. I just need to go pop into the warehouse um, for a bit to finalize something. And then, yeah, I think I'm just gonna be with family for the rest of the day. Um, we have so much to organize like funeral wise and stuff like that. And I didn't know how much actually goes into planning a funeral because I, I've never had like this happen before and I've never had to like be involved. So yeah, there's just like a lot to, there's a lot to it um, and a lot to organize. So, sorry. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go have a quick shower and then uh, yeah, make my way over to the warehouse. Hello everyone, not me. Literally filming from my fridge again. <laughs> I don't know why no I do know why because I wanted to show you something um happy Sunday I actually won't be uploading a vlog tomorrow hope you guys understand uh, I'm just really not in the headspace to edit I can't be bothered I've been so busy um and yeah as you guys could understand but anyway last night I ended up making a strawberry sauce from scratch because I don't know if you already know, but I'm obsessed with strawberry matcha recently. Not me saying I hate it. No, I think it was just the Alfred's apartment one that I didn't like. I think it was just too overpowering, like the strawberry. Like I couldn't taste the matcha, whereas the one that I had for matcha therapy was like perfect. So I ended up making my own strawberry sauce. Mm, I just followed this recipe on Google. It was like the first one I saw. All it is is like strawberries, sweetener or sugar and lemon and I just boiled it well I put it in a pot for like half an hour on low heat so I'm gonna add that to my matcha tomorrow morning I was gonna make it this morning but I ended up going to the markets with Riley so um yeah I didn't end up making it this morning but I will do tomorrow basically today I'm just gonna stay here because the lighting's good and it's actually really hot in here so it's cooling me down um yeah I need to go grocery shopping I actually do have my chef good delivery downstairs, which I'll go grab. Um, but yeah, gonna go grocery shopping and then go for a walk because we didn't go for a walk today. We might go by the beach. We've been going on heaps of beach walks, me and Peter. Like we randomly stopped doing it. I don't know why, but I just feel the happiest when I'm by the beach. So that's what we've been doing pretty much like every day. And it's, yeah, it's been really helping. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go do that. And that is all. I just wanted to come on and say hi and give you guys a quick update. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to merge the footage that I got from last week and then this week, obviously, together in like one big weekly vlog. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I just woke up. I have been thinking about making my strawberry matcha basically all night. So I'm going to do that now with the strawberry sauce that I made a few days ago and see how it turns out. I ended up getting some more matcha from the markets. This is the one that I get. Um, I don't know. There's a couple of different types, but they did tell me to keep it in the fridge. Teaspoon of matcha. If you don't do this, it just goes all like clumpy and you can like taste clumps in your matcha. Let's do like, I don't know, a teaspoon. I just made it, but I've already mixed it. I probably should have showed you what it looked like. It actually looked really cool without it being mixed, but let's do a taste test. Wow. Mmm. That is actually really good. I probably next time will try and make the um the strawberry sauce not like blended but like a little bit less chunky because obviously it can't like go through the straw. Like I'm getting that bits of strawberry in it but it sweetened it really nice and a strawberry matcha 
Serious question, are like cargo pants still, like are people still wearing cargo pants? I haven't worn them in the longest time. Um, I also cleaned my makeup room, like literally, it's not like, like clean, clean, like spotless, but I had so many clothes on the floor. I was too embarrassed to film, but you should see it now. It is like, you can just see the floor. Thoughts on cargos. I actually forgot I had these. These are from Sports Girl. When I got that massive package a couple of months ago, they're like a silky sort of vibe. They're really comfy. And also I think I'm obsessed with this cut of top, like obsessed. So this is actually a one mile singlet. It's meant to be like the correct way is like I meant to wear it the other way around. And I've just worn it backwards today to get that like high neck. I love it. I feel like it's just really chic and elegant. I feel like put together. I'm gonna head to the warehouse. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair. I might just put it up so it's out of the way. But um, I actually have some cleaners coming into my apartment today. It just, I honestly haven't had time for like a proper deep clean in weeks. And I was like, I need help. Like I would just rather get someone in to clean it for me so I don't have to stress about it because it does stress me out when like I haven't mopped or I haven't like done the bathrooms like I yeah so I ended up organizing a cleaner for today so that's why that motivated me to like get my shit off the freaking floor so they can vacuum and do whatever they do so another random thought I've had obviously because I've recently like bleached the fuck out of my hair when I went to Boho Blonde. And obviously when your hair's blonde and when you put bleach through it, it falls out. Like there's breakage and it's just never gonna be the same. I was looking back at my old videos when I grew out my hair, when it was like on the verge of brown and I was like, oh my God, it's so nice and thick and long. I just feel like I'm back to square one again because there is just so much bleach in my hair. Anyway, I think I want to take a little bit off, like not like short, short. I, I would never go short, but like even just like this much, like a trim. So it's like a long bob. Hello everyone. I haven't really vlogged much today, but I, what did I do when I got home? Oh yeah, we got our um, apartment cleaned and oh my God. It just feels so good coming home to a clean apartment, seriously. Um, I'm just doing my skincare. We just watched maths. And now I'm gonna go into bed and read Daisy Heights, which is the second Magnolia Parts book. I wish I had more time to read it like during the day, but I'm just so busy. And I, yeah, I just, there's just not enough hours in the day as it is, so. I usually read for like half an hour, 40 minutes before bed. So I'm gonna go read that now. It's actually not even that late. I think it's like 9.30, so maybe I can read for like an hour, hour and a half to get a big chunk done. I also need to put tanning drops on my face because I used Retinol yesterday, which just like completely strips my face of any tan. I'm gonna pop a few drops. Might do three. I also got my um, blood test results back and they were all normal, which I wasn't expecting considering like I have PCOS, she said like, yeah, everything that she tested for was in with, within normal range. So I mean, that doesn't help with like, I guess what the nutritionist, well, that's what the doctor said. The nutritionist hasn't said, like hasn't analyzed the results yet, but that's what my GP told me over the phone today. So I don't know what my nutritionist is gonna take from the results and tell me what to do. Maybe it's just more so in my, my diet, but we'll see what she has to say. But yeah, currently 
everything they tested for was normal, which is a good thing, but yeah, I guess we'll see what she says. running around getting some last minute things I just went to Rabina actually to pick up a really gorgeous set which I'll show you guys in a second I'm just about to film with it actually but I just filmed something else that's why I look a bit more glam than usual but I was walking through was it David Jones or Maya I think it was David Jones and I found these ballet flats I'm literally wearing them right now how cute are they but like also do they not remind you of like I don't know if Chanel make ballet flats like this, but just like the, the cushioning, it's real leather. They're from the brand Midas, Midas, the little patent, little toe, the bow. I'm just trying to break them in because I had to get a seven, which I normally am like a seven and a half in shoes, but because it's leather, they said that they will stretch. So I'm like trying to like wear them in. So when I wear them for the first time, they don't kill my feet. But they are even like stretching now. But like when I first put them on, they were so tight. The eights like was slipping off my um, heel. But yeah, they're so cute. I was on the hunt for like a better quality pair. I think these ones were 160. I've been like on the hunt for some and I just haven't really found any that I've been in love with. And I was wanting like a leather pair, so they do last me. Um, but yeah, I, when I as soon as I saw these, I was like, these are so nice and I always stand by what's the saying it's like buy once and don't buy again or something like that I can't remember what the saying is but like I definitely believe in investing in quality pieces so you don't have to like buy them over and over again if you were to buy something I don't know like a third of the price obviously I understand everyone's in different financial situations but I truly believe that if you do spend like a little bit more money on something a bit better quality um it will last you so then you you won't have to like keep buying them because if you think about it if you buy a cheap even if it's like a cheap singlet or whatever it may last you I don't know 15 20 washes but then if you just invest a little bit more money into a more expensive one it'll last you a lot longer like I've had some pieces of clothes for years and years and years because I spent a little bit extra money on them um and they're just like quality pieces as well as shoes so i really believe in that so yeah i'm really happy that i got these um i also got this set like i said i'm working with perfect stranger which is so cool because they're definitely up there with one of my favorite places to shop like i love most of the styles on there i love so i picked up this set and it's not normally something that i would typically lean towards but I don't know why like the colors just like really I don't know like on it looks so much better but I was like this actually could look really stunning it really reminds me of my dish skirt that I've got I think I put it here actually or maybe even behind me you know that like tie-dye one I've got it in brown and also like the like the blue color it just reminded me of it and the top is like high neck and then it's like asymmetrical so you could wear the skirt a little bit lower to have a bit of your belly showing if you wanted to on the side and then like it's really really nice on i just need to find somewhere to wear it but like at least i've got you know at least i've got a really nice outfit to wear somewhere nice but yeah i got that and the shoes so what's the situation you've got going on it's my vlogging camera so I can see myself there. And that's what I upload on YouTube. You migrated a little bit, but that's not, like nothing too much. Mm -hmm. That's probably because you should have downsized <laughs> six weeks ago. Yeah. Are you happy with this earring or do you want to change it? I like it. Hello everyone. I feel like I haven't vlogged well i actually have vlogged today because i have been vlogging on a separate sd card because i started 
the process of my new project that I'm working on. And like I said, I'm going to post it all in a separate video. So that's pretty much where I've been vlogging all of today because I had a meeting with the team. So yeah, it's super exciting. Anyway, I'm in the warehouse. I was in here from like 10 o'clock or whenever my um, meeting finished today. Film some TikToks. I'm just replying to an email now about our meeting and just like going through everything, pretty much like brain dumping everything that we discussed. So yeah, I'm so excited for you guys to find out. I feel like um, it's going to come around really quick. It's happening this year, hopefully in August. So fingers crossed for that. Okay, I just got home and my priority wasn't to eat, even though I haven't bloody eaten all day pretty much since breakfast. My aura ring arrived. Did I even tell you that I was getting an aura ring? I don't even think I've told you guys. Anyway, for those that don't know what an aura ring is, it basically acts like an Apple Watch. You can track your sleep, your periods, calories. I'm sure there's so many other things that you can track, but it's literally a ring. And you put it on and it's got like little indents, which is actually quite comfortable. By the way, this isn't sponsored. I bought it myself. It was $900. You can get a cheaper option. I think it has like a flatter surface, but this one is the $900 one that is just round the whole way across. But I originally wanted it for this finger, but I honestly think that it's because it's the end of the day and my fingers, well, your fingers do tend to swell more by the end of the day. But I did originally want it for this finger, but it doesn't fit. Like if I force it on, it fits. And once I get it over that ridge, like I guess it fits like that. That's fine. It's not like cutting my circulation, but it's tight. I'm usually a seven and a half, so I don't know why I got the seven. But in JHM, seven fits me on this finger, like quite snug. But yeah, I'm just going to have to wear it on this one, I think for a few weeks, but yeah, I've got to wear it for, uh, I think two weeks for it to like kick in, get my results or whatever, but I need to download this app. But the thing is, there's a catch. You actually have to pay for a membership as well as the ring. So like after you pay the $900, it doesn't end there. I think it's like five US dollars a month or something to like be able to see everything that you're tracking. I don't know. I'm gonna have to read the instructions obviously download the app i think it's like all waterproof is it waterproof maybe not actually but i probably wouldn't wear it in the shower anyways but yeah we shall see see if it's worth bloody oh is this the charger oh that's clever it's like a little dock and i guess like you put it on okay right let's yeah i'll set it up i guess Maybe put it on charge. I guess that's the first thing that you have to do and see how it goes. But I will definitely keep you updated. And then I caved and bought this skirt because like I said, I'm obsessed with leopard print at the moment. And I have wanted this for a couple of weeks now. I do think about my purchases. I don't just impulse buy anymore. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to sit on it for a couple of weeks, see if I actually like it. And yeah, I just keep seeing more and more people in it. And it's just... I just had to get it. But Rad and Boa is really nice quality. And yeah, like I'll have it for a while. The only thing that I don't like about Rad and Boa is if you're having a rowdy night, which is not really like me, like I really rarely get rowdy anymore because I'm a grandma, um, it like splits very easily. Like my zebra pants that I got from Rad and Boa, I was wearing them with heels, I think. No, I wore them in can. Was I wearing heels? No. Or maybe I was. I can't even remember. Yeah, they're ruined. It's completely fucked from the bottom. Um, so yeah, I'm, I just will, I would never wear these with heels because once a heel goes in it, it's all over. It's like a very thin, delicate material. So you've got to be really careful. Anyway, I'm going to go heat up my lunch now because it is literally four o'clock and I haven't eaten and I'm starving. I'm really fascinated about this. I'm so excited. Wow. 
Okay. Speak to you later. Hello everyone and good morning. I'm actually sitting outside of this tire shop. I'm in Peter's car. We both drove here because we need to drop my car off to get my tires replaced. But yeah, I wore my Aura ring for the first time last night. It's really comfortable to wear. Um, I normally wear jewelry to bed anyway, so I didn't find any issues with it. But um, yeah, apparently I need to get more sleep. But yeah, I'm just going to wear it for a couple weeks. I think that's like what you're meant to do so they can get like an accurate reading I guess um but yeah I only got six hours and 15 minutes of sleep and what I need to improve on is my REM sleep which I actually need to educate myself on it and like read about it properly but I think it's like is it like when you're dreaming or like is it like a deep sleep I don't know I need to like there's so much information in the app I haven't really had the chance to like go through it properly um, a lot of people replied to my TikTok that I uploaded saying that they are obsessed with theirs so I'm yeah I'll definitely give you like an honest review like I said paid for it myself so not sponsored anyway when Peter comes back in we I need to go to Officeworks to get a toner for my printer um, and then I need to go to the warehouse and help Charlie pack the orders because we had a little secret after pay day sale on TikTok. So I'm going to go help her with them. And yeah, that's where I'll be most of the day. Okay, hello. Charlie and I just went to matcha therapy. Got some matches of converted Charlie. So good. To liking matches. So anyway, we went to the PO box and I thought we'd do a little unboxing haul. Oh, I thought that was hard. I was like, oh, what's in this big box? <laughs> it's just Frank Bod. That's okay. Like, what, what are we going to do with the rest of those? Just put them in random orders. Yeah. I I'll open Perfect Stranger. Charlie. MK. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what have we got? I should like pile them up and we all just like do it. Yeah. Oh yeah, this top. Cute. That looks like a big size 10. Don't you reckon? Or is that not? I think it's just because it's like off shoulder. True. I got this. Could look cute with my outfit today actually. You've got a top like that, hey. I got undies. I wanted to try them. <laughs> well, I've never tried um, their like seamless undies. Imagine. And that yeah, looks anyways. really comfortable. Oh yeah, it's giving skims. You can take it out of the packaging. And then I got the skirt. I've got the white one and I love it. This is perfect stranger, by the way. So nice. It actually Oh yeah, so whoa. Nice. Oh, this is cute. What's that? Spots. Oh yeah. Kind of like a cropped. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah. I love like the the bras that are a bit longer. Yeah. Let's see what this looks like. This one's 10. It's almost like... It's oh, cute. It's really? It would be cool if you did those buttons. Like, you I know, feel like that's style. just not my style. <laughs> not your style but that's definitely more your style. Cute. Does it have matching? Do no. Have... They don't have matching. So yeah, getting into the colder, colder months. Oh yeah. Wow. How cool that is, is that? Cool. That is cool. Yeah. <laughs> Little top. Cute. And then I've got M Pro here. What are they? Oh yeah. They're kind of just like, I thought they would be the same as like my Myra ones. Oh yeah. It would be like toweling, but it's almost like a, a Oh no, it is toweling on the inside. Oh. Because it, it says Terry toweling pants. But then on the outside, it's like a. Tracking material. Yeah, they look comfy they look though. so comfortable. Yeah. It's <laughs> never ending, isn't it? I swear they come up with products like every day. Like yeah, every time I see someone posting did you about see it. They came out with the Elf. I mean, not the Elf. The Primer thing. 
Oh, milk? milk makeup. Milk. Yeah, 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 I don't actually like that primer. Really? No. Makes my makeup oh, separate yeah. if I got it in black. The same. Oh, this shit she has. Right, my new go to's. What's this? Extend brow brow treatment. Shape and sculpt pencil and then a clear brow gel. From Empo. Next up. Whoa, that's like yellow. That's cute. It's like a lemony yeah. you can't tell on camera, but yeah. <laughs> you? It's like a lemony cute colour. Yeah, that is cute. Let's see. What else? <laughs> what else? <laughs> oh yeah, I got this little contrast. Oh yes. Very cute. Cute. Wow, I'm so active. Thanks. And lastly. And shorts. No? Oh no. Cute. Oh yeah, just plain ones because you can't have enough yeah. black tights. Good. Cute. It. That's a little haul. Okay, we've recently been getting Hello Fresh again. So this is what we're making for dinner. How good does that look? Easy Nonna's beef brisket ragu and fettuccine. That's what it's looking like. Yum. I reckon add the pasta in. I think we did a pretty good job. That looks so good. I'm so happy. So am I. Now I'm going to get just a little bit. So I'm going to do that. Let's do it. Hello everyone, happy Saturday. Actually it does feel like a Sunday, I don't know why. But um, yeah, I'm just here editing my vlog. I had some content that I needed to film today. So I just smashed that out while Peter was at the gym. Peter and I were invited by The Collective in Palm Beach, which is, I've actually never been there before. I've seen heaps of people go there. It's apparently like this place that has heaps of different like cuisines under the one roof so you can order like well I think you can order like a Greek entree Italian main I don't know I actually don't even know what other cuisines there are but like there's I think there's five or six different cuisines um or Asian um so yeah we're gonna go check that out tonight it's currently 3.45. I'm just going to do maybe like another hour of editing. I have so much footage to go through. I didn't actually really film that much last week, but I did obviously film a lot this week. So I wouldn't be surprised if this vlog goes for about an hour this week or close to an hour, to be honest. Also, I get so many messages on my Instagram asking what matcher I use. And I use the one from the markets now. Um... I think I have mentioned it here before, but it's kind of like sparked an idea in my head. I'm like, if you think about it, where online, especially, can you buy matcha from that doesn't taste like dirt? I've tried three different brands that I've bought from before, and obviously I'm not going to post. I mean, I, I did post about Emma Chamberlain because I literally, people... Like, I've been seeing so many TikToks about it, but I think it's mainly her coffee, not so much her matcha. So maybe because she doesn't drink matcha, she probably doesn't care or doesn't know about matcha. But, yeah, I have tried other, like, smaller business brands. Not that her brand isn't, like, a small business or whatever. But, like, I, it's not horrible. It's not, like, like, I'm still going to drink it. I just need to add a fuckload of honey and sweeten it to it like I'm still gonna finish it it's not gonna go to waste but it's just not my favorite then I thought maybe I can create my own matcha brand and have like all these cool flavors like strawberry matcha I could do blueberry matcha I obviously need to do more research I probably shouldn't really be saying this online right now because someone could just steal my idea but I don't know I just think like obviously I love matcha and I feel like it's not just a phase for me. Like I don't drink coffee. Like I haven't, well, I do drink coffee, but I do have decaf, but I haven't had coffee with caffeine, like a proper coffee in years now. Um, I stopped drinking caffeine in Perth and I just, I don't know. I just felt like I don't need caffeine anymore. Um, so yeah, 
matcha has like saved me. I absolutely freaking love it. And I look forward to having it every single day. So I just like, it just makes sense. And yeah, so I have been researching. I have been doing some homework and seeing I would definitely want it from Japan. Like I, I don't know if I would want it from anywhere else. Yeah, and all the good matches that I have tried, especially the ones from the markets are from Japan. So I was like, you know, I yeah, that's something important. I really want to source it from Japan just to add to my busy schedule. Um, yeah, I'm going to put some time aside and start researching. I just thought, I don't want to make it a surprise. I want to tell you guys from the idea and I will vlog the whole process. So you'll be with me for the whole way. And I'm going to make this. So if you don't like matcha or if you're, if you've never tried matcha before, this will make you fall in love with matcha because I feel like everyone should like it because like when you have a good matcha, it tastes fucking amazing. Like I, I completely get people that say they don't like matcha because they've probably had literally something that tastes like dirt. So I'm also going to make like a little kit, like a little mat. Like I can just, I've got so many ideas, like little like takeaway cups, little glasses, like it's going to be so cute guys. I don't think it's going to happen this year. It's honestly, especially creating something from scratch. It takes a long time, but that is on my 2025 vision board, even though I don't make vision boards. I probably should. I do write my goals down or like I do manifest in my head. Like I think about things that I want to achieve all the time. But yeah, I am such a visual person, but I've never made a vision board before from what I remember. I probably have actually like years ago, but I didn't make it last year. I didn't make it this year. But yeah, I guess my way of like manifesting, if you believe in that. I feel like I do. Like I feel like you can honestly do anything you put your mind to and you work on like anyone can do anything they put their mind to seriously so if i can find the right supplier and if it works i'm gonna make it happen and yeah that's that i don't know what i'm gonna call it though at least now that i've got it's out there in the world you guys can help me out you can help me name it if anyone has any suggestions obviously thousands of brains is better than one so yeah we could like work on this together that'd be cool as fuck anyway that's just it's just a thought and it's just an idea right now so who knows i don't want to get anyone excited just in case i actually can't find something but i don't believe in the word can't you can always find a way in my opinion you can always make something happen if, like I said, you put your mind to it and you work hard. Even if I have to fly to Japan, which I'm not mad about. I've wanted to go to Japan for so long. Good morning. We just went to Hoda Markets and the matcha store wasn't there. We walked all the way around in the rain and then I checked their Instagram, which I probably should have before we came here, but like... It's here every week, so why would I check? Anyway, they're not here today or next weekend, so if you're thinking of coming, they aren't here. Anyway, I got my yuge. I also got some chocolate strawberries as well. What's the brand? Choc Tap. I also just got some freshly squeezed OJ to replace the matcha. Yum.